Ladies and uh, gentlemen, if I can call you that, I just finished watching the documentary section of this, and this isn't my review for this DVD, Brave Stars of the Night. I picked this up for $10 cheaper than what I would have had to have um, at my local JB Hi-Fi, uh, who are the best suppliers of wrestling DVDs. Um, and I have two things to rant about, just watching the documentary section. Now, and having a look at the match listing. I look in the documentary section, they speak about how WWF and WCW were, were a neck and neck competition. And when I look at the match listing, what do I see? There are 16 matches. And three of them are from WCW. Three of 16. How that works, I don't fucking know. You could have just said, greatest. WWE stars of the 90s and had your way and I wouldn't have complained. It would have been fine. I would have just let it go. But no. This second part I'm going to rant about, I'm going to read you a list of the featured superstars or of the 15 wrestlers they speak about. Um, this three disc set is packed with profiles of 15 of the biggest stars. As well. Yeah, 15 of the biggest stars. That, that's pretty much... Yeah. Um... Shawn Michaels, Yokozuna, The Rock, Kevin Nash, Owen Hart, Ric Flair, Mick Foley, Hulk Hogan, Triple H, Bret Hart, Lex Luger, Sting, Razor Ramon, Undertaker, and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Something wrong with that list? Oh yeah, it's missing some of the biggest stars in the 90s. Why do I see... Yeah, you know, There are a few guys who I could say shouldn't be on the list, but you know, I, I could let most of these go. Guys like Yokozuna, yeah, I could let it go. Um, Owen Hart, yeah, fair enough. He was, you know, quite popular, and I, I enjoyed him quite a lot. Um, Razor Ramon. Yeah, okay, well, uh, yeah, whatever. But the one I can't let go is Triple H. Why the fuck's he on this list? Why? Because he won a world title in 99? Because he, he, he only... Look, he only started to accomplish shit in the arse end of the 90s, and they're talking about the great stars of the 90s. Yet, for a guy who accomplished a whole bunch of shit in the arse end of the 90s... Why not put in Goldberg? Automatically, when I saw Triple H, I grabbed this, and I looked at the back, and I looked at the people featured, and I said, where's Goldberg? Where's DEP? Where's Macho Man Randy Savage? And where is Vader? Those are four guys who could have been in there instead of Triple H. Any one of those four guys, I would have been happy with that. You know, you could probably could have taken out Owen Hart, um, Yokozuna, Triple H, and Razor Ramon, and substituted the four I said in um, quite easily. With no hassle. I mean, there's probably even guys I'm not thinking of who are, who are bigger stars than Triple H. Why is Triple H there? Uh, you know, some people don't... A lot of younger fans these days who didn't watch wrestling in the 90s or only watch WWF in the, WWF in the 90s um, don't realise how big of a star um, guys like Vader and DEP were. Um, you know, everyone's probably aware of Macho Man because he's got the DVD coming out and, uh, you know, Goldberg... How could you say that Triple H in the 90s was a bigger star than Goldberg? You can't, because it's fucking stupid. Um, but DEP was a guy in his 30s who pretty much took on this, a similar role to what Steve Austin had, which was a rebel within WCW and was very popular. The, 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 the term people's champion in wrestling was kind of applied to DEP in the 90s before it was applied to The Rock. Sure, The Rock went on to have greater success, but DEP was quite popular, won world titles in a company which only gave world titles to old guys who had been big stars in another company. Um, you know, and, and Vader, he was a fucking monster in the 90s. Monster. Um, not even a passing mention of DEP, Savage, or Vader, I don't think. Goldberg was mentioned when they were putting over Kevin Nash. Um, it's like Owen Hart was an upper mid Carter, but he was really good in the ring, so you could probably put him in there. Yokozuna, he was a main eventer, but you know he was really fat and didn't do much in in, in the long term, and you know wasn't the didn't make the most money for the company. And Razor Ramon was an upper mid Carter in the WWF, went to WCW, and was also a mid Carter there. Um, but, you know, an uh, upper mid Carter, uh, but it's just that, but the one that annoys me the most is the Triple H one. 
you know, fine having him as a talking head in the DVD, the DVD, but why is he in the top stars of the 90s when there were guys who were bigger stars than he was in there? Um, one of the few WCW guys that was in there was Sting. And even when they spoke about guys like Ric Flair or Kevin Nash or Ray Ramon, guys who accomplished a lot in WCW, a lot of the time they spent talking about them and what they did in the WWF. Um, you know, Ric Flair was only in, WW, in the WWF in the uh, 90s for two years. So, anyway, that's the end of my rant. I'll probably have to edit this up and shit. Uh, if, you, if you've seen this... And you thought the same way, or didn't think the same way, or didn't realise until I pointed it out, please leave a comment or something. So, yes, thanks, bye. I'll probably have a new video tomorrow or the day after that. Um, you'll probably enjoy it, so watch it when, I, when it's posted.